But if I sit there on a night and talk to Peter, I feel better. He makes me laugh, you know, I've talked about my problems, he understands, and then he makes me laugh. And that's what other people need to do. You know, just do it. Just do it. Just ask people if they're okay. Do they need a hand? You know, and it'll make somebody stay. Or even, if you see somebody, or if one of your friends, your family, and they look nice, give them a compliment. Oh, you know, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think you look really nice today. And they'll be like, oh, thank you, you know, you've made my day now. I've had so much nicer to say than, oh, you look shit, you look fucking ugly, isn't it? It's so much nicer to say. Really is so much nicer to say. And it's so much easier as well to smile than to, than to frown, isn't it? So come on, everybody, let's, let's have smiles on your faces. Let's be happy. But let's have them be real smiles, not fake. Let's have them be real. You know, so I like do a couple of quotes now, I'll read a couple of quotes out. One of them... <coughs> sorry, there's my phone going off. One of them is my own quote. Your dreams and goals are bigger than small-minded people. It's true, isn't it? Follow your dream and your goals. You don't need small-minded people putting you down, which you don't. Another quote that I found really inspirational last night was, I'd rather be a little nobody than an evil somebody. Now that's true. I'd rather be a nobody that nobody knows, but be kind about it, rather than be somebody who everybody knows in the public limelight, but for being horrible. Who wants that at the end of the day? Who? Would you like that? I wouldn't. I'd hate it. I couldn't stand being... Somebody that everybody knew, but for bad reasons. I couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it. Another quote. Never do never do a wrong thing to make or keep a friend. That was by Robert E. Lee. And the last one was by Lincoln, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to say. So, basically, never do anything stupid just to keep a friend. Now, I've got experience of this one. Because I did something stupid to try and keep a friend. I did that. Now that was the salt and ice challenge, but I did that to try and keep a friend. And I've got frostbite in my hand now, and I'll probably always have a scar from it. Why did I do it? Simple, simple enough to keep a friend or two. Should I have done it? Probably not. And definitely not for the length of time that I did it. So, don't try and change who you are just to please people. Just be yourself and people will love you for that. My phone again, sorry about that. Um, smiles and kindness bring so much more than money can buy. Help and acceptance are all that is needed when you see somebody cry. Open your eyes and let everybody be free. Free to be you and free to be me. Take comfort in knowing we are all leaves on the same big beautiful tree. And that was by Jennifer Sodini. That's true, isn't it? We're all human beings. We're all exactly the same underneath. It's just the body work that's different, isn't it? You know, I'm a bloke. So obviously I've got bits down, you know, I've got bits down below and nothing up top. Women are the opposite, you know? But I know lads are going to kill me for this, but I think women are stronger. Because when you think pregnancy is nine months, nine months long, a woman has to go through their body changing. We just have our bit of fun sort of speak and that's it isn't it so you know think think what people can go through just to live their life every single day you know a lot of people who are watching this are lucky a lot of people who are watching this are lucky you're privileged enough to have the internet you're privileged enough to be able to even speak to walk you know to move your arms some people aren't that lucky some people and I know somebody who is dying of cancer. You know, think, they haven't got long left to live. That's my auntie, by the way. Um, you know, some people aren't lucky to be able to live their life properly. You know, some people do have illnesses. Some people do have disabilities. You know, so just think. Don't take the mickey out of disability or cancer and things like that, you know. Because at the end of the day... 
5, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, that could be you. You know, couldn't it? It could be you. And just think, the same person that you've bullied 10 years ago at school, in 10 years time, that could be the same person who has given you a life-saving operation. So just think on, please, just think on. An act of kindness goes a long, long way in this world. It really does. So come on. Instead of saying to people, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, you're this, you're that, you're the other. Just don't say nothing at all. I'll just say, you look nice today, you know, you smell nice today. Oh, it's a beautiful smile you're wearing, you know. you got beautiful eyes, beautiful hair, you know. Oh, oh, that's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that from, you know? Just be nice to people, please. And the world would be a nicer place. I know we can't fight illnesses a lot. Like, you know, we can fight illnesses to an extent. But there'll never be a world where there's no illnesses. But come on. We can fight suicide. Because nobody should feel that law that they'll take their own life. Nobody should feel that law. Nobody should have to feel that law. So come on, spare a thought for people. Spare a thought for people who are losing a loved one, you know. Spare a thought for people who've lost a loved one. I personally, in the last 10 years, I've lost three people who I loved. My nana, Mavis Farrell, my granddad Peter Farrell, and then 12 years ago my uncle, Dreamboat, Graham Johns. Now losing them hurt, it really did hurt, and I'm getting a bit teary thinking about it. It hurt, it really hurt. But, I know they're up there, I know they're looking down on me, I know they're proud of us. I'm just like everybody else who's lost a loved one. They might be gone, but they're not forgotten. They're not forgotten. We might physically, you know, we can't physically see them in person anymore, we can't physically give them a hug. But they're always going to be there for you, they're always going to be watching over you. You know? They're always, always, always going to love us. Always. Really are. You know, and there are some truly amazing people out there. You know, everybody is truly amazing. I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want to embarrass anybody. But you know who you are. And I think the world of you. I really do. And there's times I wish I could just be there and just give you a hug. And just tell you everything's going to be alright. But sometimes I can't do that. Because I don't live close. Or, you know, or sometimes you don't want to talk about things. But I just want you to know that I'm always here if you need me. You know, if you need a hug or anything, I'm always here. And that goes for everybody. Not just one person, that goes for everybody. If anybody ever needs to talk about anything, just send me a message on Facebook. Or send me a message on YouTube. You know, just comment. I'll always reply to people. Always will reply to people. Okay, and before I start crying properly, I'll end this now. So, I shall catch you later. I shall probably do another vlog maybe midweek or next Sunday. Love you all. Peace out.